welcome viewers to another episode in a series of episodes that are focused on extensive revision of the August 2023 Mathematics Paper 1. So if you haven't seen other episodes, please go to our YouTube channel and check for playlists that contains these extensive revision of each and every question from this paper. So questions are grouped in according to the paper and the topics. This it's important for you, especially if you are struggling with a specific topic. You go to a specific topic, you find a series of questions from different papers as far as 2017. Let us look at question 13. The mass of a bag of medium meal is 25.2 kg. Calculate the A tolerance, B relative error. So when the question is asking us to find the tolerance level, we use the formula T, which is the tolerance level, is equal to 2 multiplied by the absolute error. So the next question is, what is the absolute error? So to find the absolute error, we are saying we need to find half the least unit of measurement. Because we are saying, what's the rounding of error whether above or below that's what the absolute error tells us so the absolute error which now i use abbreviation ae is given by half like i said the least or the lowest unit of measurement That's the absolute error. So, in this case, we are measuring 25.2. So, this is the smaller units, but this is increasing in the units of 0 0.1. So, we are starting from 25.0, which is 25 exactly, then you have 25. 0.1 then 25.2 then all the way to 25.3 all the way up to we reach 26.2 so we are increasing in the units of 0 0.1 so 0 0.1 is the least unit of measurement to just emphasize, if we are D22, 25, I mean 25.22, 25.22, we are going to be having 25.20, 25.21, all the way up to 26. So we are going to start now changing this one to 22 like that. So in this case, the least units of measurement is 0 0.01 because this is what is changing. So to find now the absolute error, it will be now 0 0.1, which is the least unit of measurement in this case. Remember, all these are increasing by 0 0.0 by 0 0.1. I mean then multiply by half, which is half, this is going to give us 0 0.05. This is the absolute error. But now we multiply this by 2 to find the tolerance. So, tolerance in this case now will be, just demarcate this one so that you don't get confused. So it will be 2 multiply by absolute error which is 0 0.05 which is equal to 0 0.1 which is the same as the least unit of measurement so in this case we have a 0 0.1 kg this is the tolerance then relative error which is b so once we find the tolerance, it's easier to find the relative error. So the relative error, I'll use RE, 
is equal to the absolute error that we've already found. We divide it by the true measurement. I'll use TM. So the true measurement, which is the actual. So the absolute error that we found is 0 0.05. So we have 0 0.05. Then we divide by what is the true measure? The actual measure is this one that we are given, which is 25.2. So we are going to put 25.2. Then we need to simplify that. So we are going to multiply by a 1, especially one which is 100, because there are two decimal places here. So we make it a 1 number, because 100 into 100 is 1. 1 times anything is that thing. So if we multiply on top, I'm going to have a 5, because this decimal place is going to shift how I many times? 1, 2, because of these two zeros. Then divide by, again, this decimal place is going to shift 1, 2. So we're going to have 2,520. Then at this point, it's just a matter now of dividing. So it will be 5 into 5 is a 1. Then 5 into 25. 5 into 25 is in a 5. So we use this 5, then 2, 5, 2, 0. 5 into 5 is a 1. 5 into 25 is a 5. Into 25 is a 5. Then we have 5 times 5 is 25. Then this is a 0. We have a 0 here. 5 into 0 is a 0. Then we drop this down. So it will become now 20. 5 into 20 is a 4. So we have 504. So 504 is the answer. So when you come here, we know the answer here is 504 into 1 as our answer. So 504. So once you do that, you get the full max.